Good morning, Matthew here from Manchineal on the east coast of Jamaica. I am at an incredible guest house called Zion Country. It's owned by Free Eye. He's been working on this place for over 25 years, just incredible. And we're gonna go catch up, see how he got started, hear some stories because actually Moko was very much involved with the beginnings of this place. And we'll get a tour around this beautiful property in Portland, Jamaica. So, hi, I'm Free Eye and uh... I'm here with Matthew in uh, Zion Country and uh, finally he come visit me. Yes, <laughs> overdue. I show you a little bit around and I show him around about what is Zion Country. Here we're staying on a viewing point. We are situated in Manchineal Harbor in Portland. And uh, we are close to the river from Reach Falls, what enter out in front of our property. So you have here sweet and salt water. And this property is built and discovered. Maybe you guys what watch me now know this guy. Yeah. He is very famous on YouTube, also by Matthew, and uh, he is Moko. And Moko is the one what bring me to this property before I bought it. Wow. And um, discovered the property, and Moko was living with me here for two and a half years. And he was my, my direct right man and he was my, uh, how you call it, the one that organized everything between com community members and work members to, to come here and do the thing. So, good man, great time. We always call that room still Moko's room. Oh yeah? Room, <laughs> the room where you stay oh, is nice. Moko's room. Awesome. Because it was the first room that was finished and then Moko gonna live there at that time. So let me walk a little bit around and going down here. Yeah, beautiful spot. We got, it was looking rainy before and now the sun's always coming out nice here every single time. So yeah. we're looking good. Yeah, this is the area where we, uh, for guests, where we serve breakfast and dinner. So it's been going 25 years for you? 25 years, yes. Oh, that's incredible, yeah. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And still with pleasure. Still a pleasure to receive people from all over the world and uh, and everybody likes it here and loves it here. So Well, I've heard about it for so many years and heard nothing but good things about it and people <laughs> that come back again and again and Oh yeah, again. we have like 30% repeating uh, customers yeah, at incredible. least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. Let me make a walk down, uh, show a little bit of the property. So you got the whole side of the hill here, amazing, looking directly uh, east, yeah? Yeah. Uh, yes, kind well, east is there, there's north, south ah, is there, by yeah. the mountains. So the sun will go down behind the mountains. So when we, when I bought this property, it was, of course, <laughs> not like how you see it now, today. Yeah. And um, again, Moko and my friend, Moko, my friend, and me, and many other people, we did a uh, major job here to, um, to bring this property in an all other look. You couldn't swim here in that time. It was full of trees from Hurricane Gill, but what was stuck here. There was a, a swamp here. Well, we clean it all out and make it our own little paradise. Yeah. And uh, Marco was saying you guys planted all the trees here too, other than the, the super old ones like the almond, but. Yeah, the almond and breadfruit is our original trees from here, from the property. And uh, all the rest, Marco and me, we planted. <laughs> like these palm trees, the big ones, the, I planted them like this big, like wow. my hand. And now how you know, And this is like <laughs> 18 years, 19 years ago yeah. that we replanted the whole property. So yeah, I mean, uh, it became pretty nice, I think, you know. No kidding. Uh, but it's a lot of work to keep it like this, you know. It's not just you plant it and let it grow because we couldn't walk here because it was bush otherwise. Yeah. So it's a... It's a challenge to um, to keep everything blooming, but also keep it on a height that you still have your view from your balconies, that yeah. you still get some shade, uh, that you don't get too much leaves like now, what drop because of the wind. Yeah, it's the season, right? The season. Yeah. Well, so this is Moko's cabin, this one. This is Moko's cabin, the yeah. left one. Yeah. Yeah, super comfortable. I stayed here last night. Oh, this is one of the balconies. Uh, you have this this crazy beautiful view to the ocean. You know? 
Uh, very, um, there's no tourism around here, there's no commercial tourism around here. We are the only one around here as guest house. So uh, you want to make really the Jamaican experience. It's like the same like Bemoko. Yeah. You are on the edge of a community here. You walk out, you're in the community. You can chat, you can go bars, you can get food. So it's very nice to meet the real Jamaica. And it's so different from example the North Coast where all the resorts are. Where you maybe get pampered. And that's it. Yeah. You come home and you don't know nothing about Jamaica. Here you know about here. You still see the farmer will go with the donkey in the bush and come back with the wood for the fire and his little produce what he sell. It's like the old days. We still have that here. So in that way it's beautiful, you know. It's for really travelers, beautiful. not just for tourists, for the real travelers. It's for the real traveler. It's really for the adventure guy, girl, uh, low, but, uh, the low budget, the backpacking. Uh, nature freaks, you know, that type of customer yeah. we're looking for mainly, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And there are some, some waves in the water today. I'm gonna go look around the coast, yeah. I'm about to take a drive and have a look for some waves because I've seen some waves around here and I got my board on me, so very excited. Yeah, yeah, sure you will can uh, get some nice wave in Boston. Yeah, Boston and uh, maybe even I'll try some new spots, a little exploration for me. And I show you one more little thing here. And I think I can say we have unique showers. Yeah. <laughs> because when you stay in these showers, you still have the view over the ocean. And you have your shower head here. So what you want more, you know? I mean, it's, it's so uh, nice. It's really. Uh, yeah, these are little design things, you know. And the best view for taking a piss ever, if you're a also guy, that. is this right here, which I was much enjoying. Uh -huh. Look at this. And you still have this, yeah. So it's kind of a windy day, but it's it's a lot of calm water because you're in the bay here, right? So people it's, get in the kayaks and... This is normal for this time of the year. We yeah. can expect this kind of breeze. It will be not every day here, sure or not. We have years we don't have this breeze, but this year we have it. Yeah. So it looks a little bit rough. And that's why the sea is also looking kind of rough. But normally it's like almost Negril water here. Just it's it's glass. quiet, it's flat, it's like water ski uh, water, you know, nice flat water. Mm. So Oh man. The beach? Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's so wicked. Was it hard to grow the grass down here? No, because this was all beach. Ah. We call it Science Country be Beach Cabins. Uh -huh. So then we get in 2008, we get a big hurricane. What destroyed this whole waterfront area. Uh, we rebuild it. What happened? Grass started to grow because seeds with that storm from grass came here and started to grow. And I let the grass grow. And then the grass was growing and I was thinking, hey, this is a perfect cover when a hurricane comes next time, that they can't take the sand away. Totally. So we prefer now to keep the grass and we have a little sandy gravel area there yeah. for people. But yeah, so this is it. This is Feels a nice bit, and soft uh, under the feet too. Feels good. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. It's very nice. <laughs> and this is a very easy, uh, they call it Bermuda grass. Mm. So it just grows by itself. It spreads, spreads, spreads. You don't have to seed anything. So, nice. yeah, yeah. It's quite. You can see how big the place is from down here. It's huge. Yeah, you see the elevation also because up there we have the 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 main balcony and the cooking area from the chef and our headquarters, our own headquarters. So uh, yeah. Next time we give you a nice shots. Uh, when the place is clean and not breezy and maybe a little bit sunnier and more the garden in, in flowers uh, because this time of the year yes it looks you can see the breeze is blowing mm. and it's the sea salt what do a little damage on the leaves and bring them down we'll be back again shortly yeah yeah sure one. let me go upstairs and The rat bats uh, are coming and they... Oh, the rat bats are knocking them down. Yeah, yeah and they eat the berries. Ah. And, and, and leave a lot of them on the ground. <laughs> so you got uh, how many rooms in total for you? Uh, two here. 
two here, so each room is maximum two, two person, two adults. We can uh, accommodate a child for couples in the yeah. rooms. And then upstairs we have a room that goes from two to four. Nice. With a private bathroom. Here is a shared bathroom. Yeah. And upstairs is a private bathroom. Cool. So we coming now to the main balcony where we have here the kitchen area. So yeah, it might be one of the nicest kitchen views. Here the cook is staying. We have a view towards the sea there. There's a view to the harbour. Man, best place. <laughs> and we still cook the old the old fashioned way with charcoal. And here we my cook cook here up to 14, 16 people. Nice. Dinner. Really nice Jamaican dinner. Cool. So yeah, and this uh, hangout spot. Chill spot. Yeah, we played some dominoes yesterday, just chilling, uh -huh. looking over. Oh, nice. Crazy, crazy view, hanging out. Yeah. Everyone loves hammocks. You can't get enough of the hammocks. And this yeah. thing is awesome. Then obviously a uh, a created over here. This is made by uh, Rasta people in Kingston. Oh. You still can buy them, but he got old. The guy. <laughs> He's it's such a cool thing. You know, they're all okay. Yeah, and I like also to uh, make things out of nothing. So like this hammock, we find. I find uh, the netting no on a beach somewhere what get yeah. lost by a ship it's from, from fishing and just make it like this that we have a hammock out of it. No so, way. you know it's also little examples. It's the same like the bamboo mobile what hanging there. Yeah. It shows people what you can do with natural stuff, you know. Mm. So you can still smoke your spliff and let your work hands work and at the end of the day you can still make a little money of it, you know? To sell it. Oh yeah, this one's cool. It's got the fan on the top and uh, yeah, it's all, all recycled. All stuff. found. Yeah. It's all found. Okay. And I was admiring the bamboo work yesterday. You're saying that so all the bamboo work, yeah, this especially this all this fine work inside outside is done by uh, by great Moko, Rastaman Moko, oh. with with an other friend. So they do they did all of this, yeah. And I think they smoke some good, good ganja with it. <laughs> <laughs> to do yeah, it. 20 years ago and it's still yeah. holding up that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Across the whole kitchen, yeah. all that lattice work. And yeah. all over here too. I mean, there's so much bamboo in this balcony. Uh, but it's nice to uh, design things by yourself and can be uh, a kind of Free, free boy, call it. You know, and you do the things what is in your head. You do them. You don't need really permissions. You just build and have your thing finished. So, yeah, it's yeah. a lot of freedom yeah, comparing no. to the countries where I come from, where much more regulations and rules are. So, yeah. it's more. It's not, it was not a boy's dream by me, but it's kind of something like that. You know. How did you end up getting your name, Free Eye? Uh, free I, I get from again from Moko so my real name is uh, Frederikus uh, my calling name and my calling name in, 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 in Holland is Frey so many people don't know they, they can't pronounce here in Jamaica Frey so they will say Free Fra Fru Fra <laughs> but not Frey and Moko gets so tired that people couldn't speak my name properly and he said well you know done with that bullshit you know moko's kind of language <laughs> i fuck with that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, so he gave me the name free eye and i was say oh that's a nice name and it fit in my first letters of my name and i asked him of course it has a meaning and he said yeah free eye is somebody what is good for all the person so i feel really flattered to have this name here because uh, yeah, to live in a foreign country like this and get a name like that as a white man, it's nice. Yeah. And then he told me the story that Free Eye is, well, is a well-known figure in Jamaican history. And I said, oh, tell me the story. And he said, well, we had in the 70s, 80s, we had a very, well, more in the 70s, we had a very popular DJ called Free Eye. Free Eye was also a producer, a music producer. 
and Free Eye was the one of the best friends of Peter Tosh. So when Peter Tosh get killed, Free Eye get killed. So a lot of Jamaican people where I introduce myself to elderly people and I say Free Eye, they say, oh, they, 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 they know this name. So to tell you a more nicer detail about this is that I, years later after getting this name, there's a lady staying on the gate here, a Rasta woman. And I ask what I can do for her. I say, oh, I want to speak to the white man Free Eye. I say, well, here he's staying in front of you. Mm -hmm. And she say, you know who I am? I say, I have no clue. I say, well, I'm the widow from Free Eye, from the real Free Eye. So, oh, wow. You know, that was really special for me that this woman come, come look for me, you know. And uh, so, yeah, the name come from Moko. So everybody know me by this name from around the island. Almost nobody know me by my real name. I think if government um, people would come into the community and ask community people with, for my real name and say, you know where this person they say, never heard about. <laughs> because everybody in Jamaica lives with a nickname, you know. Uh, nobody really uses his own name mm -hmm. for whatever reason. But it's nice to have a nickname. It's, it's good uh, to get a cool one because not everyone gets a cool one. Right? Uh, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's some other funny names that you hear around. Oh yeah, they, they are very creative in names, also for shops and, and, and what you have on stickers on cars. Sometimes yeah, I, I, I can't get a few up now, but yeah. they are very creative yeah. with this. Yeah. Come here yeah. and you'll see. Yeah, yeah, you have to yeah. come here for yourself and see and feel the vibration and yeah. uh, come taste the food. And uh, we do a lot of trips too. You know, waterfalls, reggae falls, blue mountains, uh, beaches, name it, pickups from the airport, so you're welcome. Yeah, wh what else is close by here? Reach Falls is a famous one too. Reach Falls yeah. is the closest by attraction, it's 10 minutes from us, it's, oh, wow. it's one of the most beautiful waterfalls from Jamaica. It's really an adventure trip to do that. Uh, we are also an hour and a little bit more driving from reggae falls, but it's also an adventure trip. Um, then we have all the beaches within an hour around Zion Country, accessible. And uh, we do Blue Mountain trips, but it's only a two, two day, three night trip, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that is quite some driving, but worth to it because you come really in the mountains, yeah. what is different from a coastal area. For sure. Also, the people on the coastal areas are different from mountain people. Here they are used to tourism, upstairs they are not so used to tourism, so you still get a lot of treatment, nicer treatment to me, you know, because they don't see you as, as a tourist directly. So if people want to book with you, what's the best way for them to find the you? The best way to book by me uh, to save yourself money and get the best price is going to our own website, what is uh, ZionCountry.com. Uh, there you get the best price. And, um, but we are also on booking platforms, but we prefer, of course, to book by us because not only it's for you cheaper, we also can keep a dollar in our pocket because all the booking platforms, we have to pay huge commissions. Ah. And a lot of people don't know that, but yeah, yes, yeah. it's not for free. So, yes, check us out on uh, ZionCountry.com and make a reservation. And uh, most of the time, you know, we're living in Jamaica, so utilities like electricity water and internet is not like by us in the in the developed world that it's there for 24 hours it can all of a sudden disappear most of the time i will answer your emails within 24 hours so awesome. don't panic when it not happen because then most time the internet is gone yeah. here <laughs> so yeah but i hope to see you all one day here and uh, and sure, we can make also a trip to Moko, uh, or you can make a combination even. Uh, yeah. You know, you can do two weeks Jamaica and you say, hey, I want to stay really for two weeks in the countryside, want to experience Jamaica lifestyle. Come one week here, come go one week to Moko. We are one hour drive, not even an hour drive from each other. Yeah. And it's both, both sides are very, very unique. Mm -hmm. This is on the harbor floor side. Was Kitchen is the riverside yeah. both are nice both have the water so and the road's getting better it was and, and surprisingly and fast getting here yesterday and the road yeah. getting much better so we're speaking about road they're making a new infrastructure road from kingston to port antonio the whole way mm -hmm. and yes it will take a couple of years we are two way two years on the way and i think 
by Christmas, hopefully 50% is done. We have the next two years to go and hopefully everything is done then. So be Fingers aware crossed. about this. Fingers crossed for that one. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So I would say uh, see you soon. I uh, want to thank uh, Matthew here for um, coming visit me and doing this little thing and uh, hopefully he comes back he finds the time in uh, next year somewhere when he's back in jamaica and i'll be back real soon man i am kicking myself for not coming earlier so uh, thanks for <laughs> it's, it's been awesome i'm loving it here man all right. Great. all right all right all right, all right. Up, man. All right cool yes. <laughs>